Hi friends, so I want to give some thanks and some shout outs to our patrons on Patreon. Yes, thank you very much to Terry Cotman for your support. If you are interested in checking out our Patreon and potentially subscribing to us, feel free to check the link in our description of this episode. Thank you very much. Bye. So, so uh, the other day, <coughs> first off, some context. Harmony and I went shopping. Mm-hmm. And while we went shopping, we found something that uh, we thought you would like. Uh-huh. Okay. So then the other day, uh, Harmony had an experience with your gift. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so I was just hanging out in the living room. I It was like early morning. Beth was at work. I was just hanging out. Um, Beth's cat, Cheddar, was in the kitchen while I was in the living room. And um, I'm sitting there and suddenly I hear someone yelling. Uh-huh. And I'm like, I'm home alone. What is oh. going on? <laughs> so at first, my brain was like, is someone, like, in the basement? Like, who is in the house? Uh-huh. And then I, it, I'm like, it sounds weirdly like a, a speaker and, like, someone is talking through the speaker, and I'm like, are there police outside? Did I do something wrong? Am I under arrest? Yes. I do not commit crimes. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Debatable. Just arson. Right. <laughs> Which isn't a crime. No. <laughs> it's um, a hobby. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm sitting there just, like, frozen, and I'm, like, getting ready to find the nearest thing I can use as a weapon to start beating the crap out of someone with. Um, And then I I look out into the kitchen and I see Cheddar chewing on a plastic bag, (laughs) batting at it and whatnot, and I'm like, I know exactly what that fucking thing is. I know what I'm hearing now. I cannot believe it. I about had a panic attack over this thing. What was uh, Cheddar being a menace and destroying? Trying to destroy. <clears throat> um, so, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a... I hate... <laughs> I hate this thing so much. <laughs> so here's the thing. What Harmony hears from out in the kitchen is... Like a rough buttercup. <laughs> My tail's dying for a hug. I fucking hate this. So, so first off, we were going to get this because we knew you hated it. Um, but then today I found out it's a knockoff Bop It. No, really? Yes. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> Kiss. Nope. Oh. Yeah, so there's little buttons that you have to press. This is dumb. <laughs> I don't like the way this fish looks. So when I, he wants me to kiss it, do I have to kiss it? So so at first he says, pucker up buttercup, and that's telling you the game is starting. Okay, oh. we're going for some saw shit here. The game is starting. Um, so then after that, he gives you clues on what to do. And so it's pull his tail, you kiss his bass, which is his oh. ass cheeks. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then you slap his fin, you... Get his stomach or whatever. You smack his lips. You press his top part here. And then you can press his gill. That's so many buttons. Yeah. This has more buttons than an actual bop it. Okay, but here's the problem. It gets faster. As you do them correctly, it gets faster and faster until you get one wrong. You know, I also see a little teeth marks from Cheddar. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Maybe this bass deserves it. (laughs) He's doing you a service. I don't know. Either way, at first we just were going to give you it because it was really gross and looked, you know, terrible. But now Uh, I can... But now uh, it's a fun thing to do game night. (laughs) Well, thank you for the the cursed fish. I I like it. Thanks. Um, I'm going to bill you for my (laughs) therapy that uh, I need after thinking someone broke into my house because of it. Especially the fact that all you were hearing was pucker up buttercup. Yeah! <laughs> Just imagine like a criminal being like, pucker up buttercup. 
<laughs> just out the window. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I would call the cops it's, immediately. It's on site. <laughs> Either way, there you go. Enjoy your gift. Thank you. <laughs> Why did I write this? Brought to you by the record button. Welcome back to Why Did I Write This? The podcast where we we where we read <laughs> really bad writing so you don't gotta. I'm Anna. <laughs> I'm Harmony. I'm Beth. So uh we are reading chapter two of that uh lovely, lovely I was gonna, I was what? gonna have you do a recap. I was about to get there. Good. I'm glad we're, we're on reading. The same fleet. Good. We're reading chapter two of that lovely, lovely MCR fanfic. Where, uh, so far we've learned that Ray Toro from My Chemical Romance is our teacher, and that you had no problem assaulting him. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to talk about that part. We already did. It's in the, the last episode. Everyone can hear it. Yeah, but we don't need to talk about it again. We already I, talked about it. I and it's embarrassing. Talk about it. Yeah, that's why we should talk about it. And there's going to be more creepy scenes. Ew. Yeah, just wait until she finds out Gerard's like her science teacher or something. <gasps> no. Spoilers. <laughs> I'm going to laugh. I hate that. <sighs> I Listen, I can only imagine he's one of the teachers. I don't know if it's science. So basically, nothing like super big has happened. Just we found out Ray's at the school. Yeah, and we're that My Chemical Romance is uh, their substitute teachers for a week. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't know where they got their teaching license or they were bored and passing through. Yeah, it is a, a teacher shortage, so you know, just pulling them off the streets. I guess that's yeah. fair. All right, so on to chapter two, which is titled. New teachers. Um, what was the first chapter called? Uh, uh, <laughs> wake up call. Okay. Tasha in the morning with another one in my bed. <laughs> um, Ray, Anna had her hand to the ceiling. He came over to her and bent over her shoulder. Yes. Ew. I already don't like this. His breath smelled like spearmint. <laughs> Why? He brushes his teeth. <laughs> and he was wearing a wonderfully scented cologne Anna was unsure of. Girl, we're going to get a cease and desist. It's <laughs> my goal. <laughs> Not a good goal to have. <laughs> um, I was wondering, um, I don't quite understand subjects and objects. <laughs> what? Because we're in language arts. Oh, okay. That's okay. the lesson. Subjects okay. and objects. Now that she was, uh... Now that was a downright lie. She understood everything they were learning about in language arts. She just wanted an excuse to have Ray come over and talk to her. Really? I never would have guessed. Oh, it's really easy. You see, the pronouns are a big part in finding out if it's subject or object. <laughs> like right here in the sentence. We students are interested in this book. The pronoun is we. And also, what is the whole thing talking about? Students. Sorry, I fell asleep there because I was back in class for two seconds. He's not done telling me how to do the thing. Okay, wake me up when we're all done with the lesson. Uh, right. So we is a subject. Good. Now maybe you'll be able to do the rest. Just remember that objects usually come in the end of the sentence. Why are they coming in the end of the sentence? Because <laughs> it was an exciting sentence. They couldn't hold it anymore. Whoa! I regret my comment. <laughs> Ray patted her back and turned to leave. Oh! <laughs> Wait! No. Wait! She hissed. Oh, there's more! <laughs> Why what? did you hiss? I'm sorry, we were just... Wait! Wait! <laughs> he turned around and bent over her again. Oh? <laughs> oh no. God. Your phrasing is worse than mine. <laughs> it was intentional. Yes. I just wanted to say thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. He smiled. You're welcome. Sheree leaned over after Ray had left to help somebody else out. 
You liar, she hissed, hitting Anna lightly on the arm. She should hit you a little harder. <laughs> she should. She should just be the shit out of you. <laughs> you, should, you just wanted to talk to him. Uh-huh. She shrugged. So? What do you mean, so? You're like an expert at language. You don't need help. I don't know. Some of those writings you've given us before, you know? Yeah, but it won't hurt to have a little review every now and then. <laughs> Shreya lightly hit Anna's arm again, laughing. Dork. <laughs> Rain looked at Shreya and Anna. Oh my god. You can do this. And put his fingers to his lips and. What? 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 Like. Okay, okay. Put thank his you. fingers to his lips. Finger, not fingers. <laughs> put his finger to his lips and shush them. Then he smiled. And to shush them, sorry. <laughs> it was a sly smile. Oh, um, he was sexy. Do we still have a counter going on for, for hot and sexy? <laughs> can, we, can we bring that back this episode? Yes. <laughs> do you say hot a lot or do we need to change the word? Uh, let's just include sexy in there too. Great. With hot. Great. So, ding. Ah, <laughs> uh, Anna whispered under her breath. She noticed it was time to go. She gathered her things, waited for Cherie, gave Ray a, s a shy smile, and headed to pre-algebra with her friend. Ah, uh, so you can write in your notebook and not pay attention. <laughs> write this and not pay attention. <laughs> so, what was it like? Cherie asked. What was what like? When Ray was breathing down your neck. <laughs> I hate that. Oh. <laughs> Somebody want to take over because this next part is kind of yuck. Oh, no. <laughs> Harmony's got it. We're... Yep. Oh, Anna giggled. That! That was awesome. His breath smells like spearmint and it's so warm. <laughs> oh. Ew. <Girl>. Ew. <sighs> <sighs> they stepped Why? into Miss N's room, set their books down, and waited by the door. Soon, in came a tall, skinny man with a dorky smirk on his face. He was very startled to see two young girls standing by the door. In a school? In a school. <laughs> that he's a substitute <laughs> teacher for. People come to this class? <laughs> yeah, right? Like, okay. Mikey! <laughs> Anna shrieked. Shrieked. <laughs> <laughs> she shrieked. She shracked? I can't tell if that's a C or an E. She frickety fracked. So it's either shricked or shrieked. <laughs> that sounds dirty. Holy shit crap, Mikey Way said, cutting off what? his cursing. Oh. What? <laughs> that makes more sense. I'm like, where are you going with that one? We're huge fans, Cherie exclaimed proudly. You are, huh? He seemed uninterested. Smart man. Can we have... Cherie began, but suddenly, Mikey whipped out a sheet of paper. He ripped it in half. It was very uneven. Scribbled his name on each of them. Uh, and thrust them at the girls. Mm. They eyed the paper and his name looked... What? <laughs> they eyed the paper and his name looked like a toddler had scribbled it out. Thank you, I guess, Anna muttered. Mikey glared at them as they walked to their seats. Why do you rate Mikey as such an asshole? <laughs> I don't know. Every story that's had Mikey in it, he's a dick. For some reason, I always pictured him to be a dick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ba -ba -ba. When they sat down, they saw Mikey staring at them with a mean look on his face. Yes, Anna said. He slowly walked over to where they were and gripped their shoulders tightly. He got down on his knees and brought them closer. Don't even touch my shoulder. Don't even. <laughs> you keep your hands to yourself. No. no don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> we're going to get a cease and desist. <laughs> oh, no. For defamation. What did you Listen, I am not in the mood. I've already had to hang out with some really ugly fat girls. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god. So 
mean. <laughs> okay, y'all, quick disclaimer. I promise you, I, we don't think like that. None of us think like that. This is just a shitty yeah. fanfic. Nothing to reflect on Ooh. us or My Chemical Romance, right. specifically Mikey Way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mikey Way did not say this about anyone. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> when I was in middle school, I was very insecure and just full of hate for the world. So none I'm of sorry. None of us are particularly skinny, so like, we, we get we get the the struggle. We're dummy thick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, moving <laughs> on. <laughs> and I do not want to hang out with two more stupid girls. Dang. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was pinned to the ground. I was kissed. What? Ugh, I am sick of hanging out with oh, fans. Oh, my, Mikey got pinned. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Mikey is still speaking. <laughs> okay. Uh, listen, I'm still caught on Anna shrieking, so... That's <laughs> <laughs> fair. And I am here to teach you how to do friggin' integers. <laughs> This is the most teacher attitude I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Just, I'm tired of your baloney. Just freaking learn already. Pay attention. Otherwise, it's to the office you go. Wow. Mikey hissed through clenched teeth. There's a lot of hissing going on in this chapter. A bunch of snakes. He pushed them away hard and stood up to leave. Anna's shoulder stung, and Cherise felt like it was on fire. Well, damn. <laughs> they both slumped in their desks. The back of their necks were hot, and their cheeks were cold. They were too embarrassed to move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's just a crossed-off sentence here that says, Finally, Cherie pulled Anna to their desks. <laughs> oh, that they were already slumped at? Yes. Uh, excuse me? It's crossed out for continuity. Damn. They sat- I just realized you burped. <laughs> <laughs> My brain just processed that. They sat through the rest of the period, hoping the- what? <laughs> hoping the of MCR <laughs> were nicer than him. Hmm. I assume the rest of. Yes, there is no rest in there. <laughs> no rest for the wiki. The wiki? <laughs> what? No rest for the wiki. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Wikipedia. Never gets a day off. As they were walking in the hall, Cherie blurted out, What a jerk! We, we didn't yeah. even get to have class with Mikey. We just got yelled at. And then you were sad for the entire period. Yeah. Well, see, Anna couldn't describe integer. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> They're numbers, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know, he's terrible. I never thought I'd say it, but I hate Mikey. Yeah, me too. Wow. Like I said, <laughs> we're going to get in, we're going to get yelled at by Mikey. <laughs> I don't blame him, you know? Maybe he should stop being an asshole in my stories. Stop <laughs> writing him as an asshole! <laughs> Honestly, you're the one writing them. As they walked in social studies, a welcoming face greeted them at the door. Anna stopped her, Anna stopped her tracks, stared at his beautiful, hypnotizing big brown eyes. That was a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Frank, she said shyly. Hey, honey, what's wrong? Oh, no. Uh, 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 already. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> you and you seem upset. You and he, you? You and you. He doesn't oh. know our names yet. He so, pointed at them. He called us honey, though. <laughs> <laughs> Anna broke into a loud, obnoxious sob. Uh. Shuri was shocked, but still hung her head low. She had forgotten how sensitive Anna was. <laughs> <laughs> sensitive? 
I, he, she, pre-algebra, Mikey, being mean. Oh my god. <laughs> God, are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Why are you like this? I, why am I like this? <laughs> <laughs> she gulped loudly. Well, more like freaking rude. Three spat. Frank put his arms around Anna and said, I'll talk to him when we have lunch, okay? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, just the way that it's going, it sounds like he's talking to another student. Like, he would be mean to you. I'm sorry, I'll go talk to Mikey at lunchtime. <laughs> she nodded weakly and said, I'm Anna, and this is Cherie. She sniffed loudly. There's a lot of, of nodding and, and uh-huh. saying and sniffing. <laughs> <laughs> and hollying and sexying and... <laughs> what? 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 Continue. (laughs) Nice to meet you two. Have a seat and we'll talk later, okay? He gave Anna's shoulder a squeeze and Cherie glared at her with jealousy. I'll sign something for you both later. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go beat up Mikey in the hallway. (laughs) He patted her shoulder her shoulders and left. Do you have a thing for shoulders that we don't know about? I don't know. It's does, so many shoulders. Does Beth want to take a gander? Yeah. It's oh, been I'm a minute trying. since we've heard your sexy, beautiful voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're never going to hear it because I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Da, 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 da. We are right oh, here. Oh, God. Okay. Aw, oh, Frank's so sweet. Anna wiped her eyes. <laughs> I wiped my eyes. Oh my god. You're not shy, are you? Cherie said snobbily. Anna glared back at her. No, why would I be? I don't know. Maybe because it's my chemical romance. Damn. Oh, oh, just then, Frank and Mikey came in. Oh no. <laughs> Cherie and Anna gave Mikey a very icy look. Anna's eyes were still watery and red from her tears. I thought, Anna said coldly through clenched teeth, you were going to talk to him at lunch. He wants to see you. He wants to see you two in his room. No. It'll be a private talk. We'll have the door locked. It will be just me, him, and you two. We promise, Frank explained. Teachers cannot do that. Um, <laughs> someone get the guidance counselor. <laughs> <laughs> the principal, maybe some cops. <laughs> <clears throat> when, Shuri sure asked. Now, Frank said. He grabbed their wrist, gently brought them into Mrs. N's room. He shut the door and locked it. Stop it. <laughs> oh. Frank leaned against the wall and snapped his fingers at Mikey. Mikey once again gripped their shoulders, but this time, a little more gently, he took in a deep breath. Why is there so much shoulder (laughs) gripping? I don't know what to tell you. (laughs) I'm sorry that I hurt you both, okay? Cherie and Anna weren't convinced, but it was a start. When Mikey saw they were still silent, he went on. And I'm sorry I was so rude. Now, are we okay? No. No. <laughs> Leave immediately. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Frank nudged them forward, and they both said, okay. I'm dying because you spelled nudged wrong <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was crossed out. <laughs> Cherie spelled it wrong twice. Oh, someone spelled it wrong twice. And just like Frank nogged and nogged them forward instead of much. Uh, Anna gave him a hug, and after what seemed like a minute to Mikey, <laughs> and what seemed like five. Anna gave him a hug. <laughs> And after what seemed like a minute to Mikey and what seemed like five seconds for Anna. Uh (laughs) Also, it's minuet, not minute, but that was crossed out too. So that's okay. Uh, Mikey said, 
All right, all right. You're going to be late for class. Otto looked a little sad at his reaction, but figured it was better than before. As they walked back to social <laughs> studies, Anna said, there. There what? I was hugged by three of five people in MCR. You got hugged by one. You hugged the other two. Oh, shut up. Same difference. Not really. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You, this is how you wrote it. Bitch. (laughs) (laughs) I know. (laughs) They fought all the way into social studies. What are you two fighting about now? Frank exclaimed. Nothing. They said at the same time. There was nothing they could tell him about it without sounding creepier than they already had. Mm. They rushed to their seats. Okay, then. Let's get on class, then. (laughs) (laughs) I'll be taking over Miss L's class for this week. You're switching sentences around, that's why. Uh, Either way. Uh, Anna gulped loudly at Mrs. L's name. Mr. L's name. I'm sorry. Somebody L's name, all right? It's Mr. L. Great. Cherie groaned because she knew that Anna has a huge crush on Mr. L. So what do you guys usually do when he's around? Frank asked. Well, he would usually (laughs) have... He would usually has us take notes. (laughs) <laughs> and listen to the local radio station <laughs> someone shouted that's a name and oh someone shouted <clears throat> okay where where is the notes <laughs> on his laptop the class yelled well then screw the notes take out your textbook turn to page 96 and would someone read the page, the passage, Conquest to Peru? This man's just gonna come in and teach his own class about the fucking Conquest. Well, to be fair, it doesn't sound like Mr. L left him with any information whatsoever. Fair he's gonna wing it. We're gonna learn history. We like, don't know what, he's, though. He's asking students where they're supposed to get their notes from. Good point, good point. All right, all right. <laughs> All at once, everybody's hand shot into the air. Wow, is everybody that eager to read? Come on, we'll all read it. This is... (laughs) Oh, we're doing choral reading. (laughs) All in unison, they began to read. (laughs) Did you read... Did you steal this from your textbook? Yes. (laughs) Everybody get ready. This is going to be a highly engaging part. Take your notes. (laughs) Yeah. All, all in unison, they began to read. Far to the South Mexico. <laughs> far to I mean, out of your book, right? Far to the South Mexico. Yes, that's what she wrote. <laughs> far to the South Mexico lay the Inc- the Inca Empire of Peru. It too, for the rest of the class, for the rest of the hour, the class read in unison. Oh boy! Soon the bell rang and everyone filed out of the room. Cherie made it out before Anna. Hey, Anna. She turned around quickly to face him and his adorable big brown eyes. Yes, Frankie? Crap. Now she sounded like a a desperate weirdo who nicknamed every boy she met. Yuck. I'm sorry about the whole Mikey thing. So do you and Shuri want to come have lunch with us? Like the whole band? Anna slowly nodded her head. She tried to hide her feelings, but inside she was beaming. Okay, after you get your lunch, you guys go to Mikey's room, okay? Okay, thank you so much, she giggled. No problem. He pulled her in for a hug and said, now off you go. All right. We are... We are, like, not even through the second chapter, and we still got, like, a bunch left. So I think that's a good place to stop for now. I I think everybody just needs to take in what you've uh, 
written today, you know? I agree. Yeah. We've met Mikey, who is apparently an asshole. Uh-huh. We have met Frankie, who is the complete opposite. He is the golden retriever of My Chemical Romance. <laughs> There's a lot of shoulder grabbing. There is yeah. too Why? much shoulder grabbing. There's just a lot happening, and we're, we're going to hear more on the next episode. But in the meantime, if you guys are interested in us and where you can find us, <sighs> Saran Wrap. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to look at the, the place where we look at our things. <laughs> the place where we look at our things. And I got, I got anxious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you'd like to find us, um, you can go to recordbuttongroup.com. We have links to all of our social medias, including our Patreon, which you can subscribe to for very fun content and uh, various perks. Um, go ahead and leave us a rating and a review on Reviews. whichever platform you are listening to us on. Especially if you're Mikey from My Chemical Romance. Please, please. don't. <laughs> please give us a good review. <laughs> Actually, please don't ever listen to us. <laughs> Um, And then if you're interested in purchasing merch, we do have a merch store. You can Mm -hmm. go to trbmerchstore.threadless.com and check out various items. Yeah. Great job. As always, Cranard. Anyway, this has been (laughs) Why Did I Write This? I'm Anna. I'm Harmony. I'm Beth. We're signing off. What? (laughs) Love me goodbye. (laughs) (laughs) What? Why did I write this?